Hello YouTube, so I've got, gone and bought a new toy. This is a Celestron Astromaster 130 telescope. Newtonia, it's the Newtonian type. Uh, 130 means that uh, the aperture is 130 millimeters, I believe, and I think that's determined by the size of the mirror here in the back. Um, and this Newtonian type uh, functions by reflecting light through uh, between some mirrors rather than using a lens in the front and then you focus on into a uh, an eyepiece here on the back like you would on a more traditional telescope. Um, but this has some issues. Um, the mirrors are not perfectly aligned as it is right now. They need to be collimated, uh, seems to be the term, or calibrated. It's probably more understandable to normal people who don't know anything about telescopes. I don't really know a whole lot. Um, the thing is, I bought this as, a, as an Amazon warehouse deal, which means I basically got it for half price, but it also means it's a return goods uh, somebody else bought this and then returned it to Amazon and it was open box so they have had, had it out of the box that was obvious they had it, have had it out and tried to assemble it at least maybe they failed uh, maybe they've taken it apart in a way they shouldn't have because I actually uh, noticed that there might be missing a couple of screws um, so Maybe they returned it because it has this problem, it needs to be collimated. Maybe they caused the problem, I don't know. But uh, in this video we're gonna have a look at what the problem is and see if we can fix it. And I mean, <clears throat> if, if the problem, the reason that the previous owner returned this was that it needed to be collimated, then I guess they didn't read the manual because the process is actually described in this. Um, right now I haven't actually had a chance to really use it. I tried looking out the window at it uh, with it uh, one night when we had clear skies. That was the only night we had clear skies since I got it. I couldn't really get it to focus and I think it's because of the misalignment of the mirrors. Then anything you look at will be slightly distorted and that might look like it's not really focusing. although. It's, it's not directly related to focusing, it's more a skewing of the image as I understand it. So uh, I'll get this set up and then we'll go through the process. Okay, so before we get started here, I just want to illustrate what's happening in this telescope. Um, <clears throat> So I've made a small diagram here. Now there's three primary things going on in this scope. We have the eyepiece up here, it's the bit that you use to focus and look through. Then we have a large mirror in the back and a smaller mirror here in the front. And what happens is the light gets comes in through the front here. And even, and even though this mirror actually blocks some of it, uh, you won't really notice that in the image. That's kind of interesting. That's due to how the light uh, gets focused. Um, so the light comes in here, get reflected from the back mirror up to this, and then again this mirror reflects it into the eyepiece. And the problem with collimation is essentially if this mirror or this mirror isn't sitting at the correct angle, then this light, instead of getting reflected there, gets reflected, let's say, down here, and then you just see like this top part of the mirror rather than the whole thing. And likewise, if this is slightly out of alignment here, then it doesn't get reflected correctly into the eyepiece. And that will significantly distort or unfocus or lessen the quality of the image that you're seeing. Um, 
so we need to fix that. So uh, let's move on. Okay, so this is the way the manual describes it. You'll need to put, uh, point your telescope at a wall. Um, I've chosen my door. I think the point is you want a uniform bright color, preferably, um, so that once you look in the eyepiece, we'll see that in a little bit, uh, you can clearly focus on the mirrors and not the image that's being reflected. Um, and just having, you know, one solid color, preferably bright, makes it easier to see the mirrors in there and focus on them. So you set it up like this, and then you look through the eyepiece, and we'll have uh, put in a little still image of that here. But I look through the eyepiece as so, and then I can see the mirrors in there, and I can see some clips. And what I want to see is the mirror being centered exactly and right now it's way off center it's not centered at all so um, and to adjust that you can see here there's a number of screws in the back some of these uh, some of them release the mirror entirely and other uh, others uh, adjust the mirror and likewise in the front let's see if I can turn it around here Maybe we can. Likewise, here in the front, there's three screws in here that holds or adjusts the um, the front mirror in here. So we need to play around with those screws until we get everything lined up. And I suspect this will be a very fitly process um, because. Uh, well, you're dealing with mirrors, so the screw you're turning is probably not the one that you think you're supposed to be screwing, uh, because everything gets mirrored several times. And I think it's a, just a matter of going, you know, a quarter turn at the time until you get it right. Otherwise, you could just make things worse. So I think lots of patience. And we should get there. Okay, so first things first. I've got a small screwdriver that fits the Allen keys that's in the front. Uh, for the front mirror, what we should be looking at is the clips that holds the primary mirror. Um, they should all be aligned in the center of the image. Should be able to see all three. Right now, I can only see one, and just barely number two. I can't see the third one at all. That's way out of alignment. So, if I go and try adjusting this, we should see something change in the image at least. Now, what we want to do is loosen one screw slightly and then tighten the other two uh, to, to keep the mirror in place so you have to do one screw give that half a turn and then tighten the other slightly and then see if we have any change mm, we definitely have change if it was in the right direction though, I'm not sure. Let's try another one. Let's see if that's better or worse. Mm, slightly better, I think. It's not perfect. But it's getting there. Let's try the last one. Just I'll probably throw it out of alignment. Yeah, that was that was bad. 
shouldn't have touched up one Let's see that one I can't see the bottom of those two so what needs to happen here Try moving this. Once I can't actually see all the clips. Hmm. I mean, right there is that centered though? That's center. Yeah, I think I got lucky on that one. That seems. Pretty close. Just let make. Sh let's just make sure they all tight. That could tighten a little bit more. Let's see if that fucked it up. No, I think that's pretty good. So that's the front mirror then. That was way quicker than I expected because I was, I was thinking I'm gonna be doing this for an hour or so. Now for the back mirror, you can kind of see a cross when you look down there, <clears throat> and in the center of a cross there is a reflection of your own eye looking back at you. That needs to be centered. Now what I don't know here is if we look at the back of the telescope here we can see some big thumb screws and then there's some smaller screws i'm not sure which actually adjust the mirror because the documentation kind of suggests it might be either depending on the model of the scope so um, i think we're going to try the thumb ones damn that's heights I don't think that's, those are it. I mean, now that's completely loose. Uh, let's see if we can't get a grip on them with this. so tight don't get it That's definitely moving something. <clears throat> oh, it would be nice if these weren't so tight because with the thumb screws there, it's actually possible to adjust these while you're looking through the eyepiece, but they're actually so tight I can't really adjust them with my fingers. And they don't have a socket or anything, so this system could definitely be improved a bit. I think I need to tighten this top one that was really tight a lot more. Because it seemed like when I when I loosen that then the whole thing kind of went the way I wanted it to. So if you loosen these other two, and then just try tightening that one, yeah. If I have these two, let's loose it, there's the L go. We are closer. Let's try. 
tightening this some more. Yeah, we are getting close. This is definitely helping. It's not quite there. But that's definitely the closest that I've seen so far. Try tightening up these other ones just to keep it in place. So this is this is pretty close. I don't think it's perfect. <clears throat> Let's just say it's a lot better when I got this scope. So uh, I think I'm going to keep fiddling with this, trying to get in, getting a little bit closer to the center. Depending on the weather, I might get some shots with this uh, scope to kind of show you what it can do. But if I have to wait a month for that, um, yeah, I might not get any uh, before I want to release this video. But um, that's the collimation of a Celestron Astro Mazda 130. Um, a nice little piece of kit, it seems. Um, like I said, I haven't really used it yet, so I can't say for sure this is not a review. But um, I like the way it looks, at least. So uh, that's it for now. Hit that like button, hit subscribe. And until next time, take care.